Hi friends, today we are discussing the one more concept the steady state transmission line performance. How is it? Its uh, performance is depending on what are the parameters. Now we go for this. First, a small introduction about the in transmission line and the generation angle, sending and angle, receiving and angle. Receiving and angle. This is the this is the generation. This is the generator. This is the transformer. This is the transmission line. These are the loads. These are the loads. This is the synchronous generator. This is the synchronous generator. The synchronous generator at an angle is delta. The synchronous generator that angle is the generating angle is delta. This is the sending and side sending. This is the receiving side. Sending side. This sending end. This is the sending end. This is the receiving end. This voltage is the sending and voltage at an angle theta. This is the receiving and voltage. This is the receiving and voltage at an angle zero. At an angle zero. This is the transformer. This are the loads are the asynchronous loads. These are the asynchronous loads. Means asynchronous generate asynchronous loads. The loads may be asynchronous loads. The generator may be synchronous generator. This is the transformer. In this transmission line, have some constants is there. In some transmission line, have some constants is there. Resistor, inductor, and capacitor. These are the. This is the resistor. Inductor and the capacitor. These are the transmission line constants is available. Transmission line constants is available. Transmission line constants is available. Here, here, the effect of transmission angle and the effect of transmission angle. The effect of transmission angle on the synchronous generator angle. The Synchronous generator angle is less when compared to the transmission line angle. When, sorry, when compared to the sending end angle, so that we neglect, so that we neglect this angle, so that we neglect this angle. Means the sending and voltage angle is approximately equal to synchronous generator angle. Means this angle is approximately equal to this angle the sending and voltage angle is approximately equal to generating angle generating angle now we draw the high diagram this is the synchronous generator we neglect this one this is the asynchronous these are the asynchronous loads. This is the synchronous generator. This is the sending at the angle of previously theta. Now, same that approximately equal to delta. The receiving and voltage is zero. The receiving and voltage is zero. These are the transmission line. Same transmission line have some constants is there. These are the capacitor, inductor, resistor. These are the constants is available. In this, here power is the sending and power. Power is the receiving and active power. Power is the sending, power is the receiving end. In this side is the known things. This side is the, this is the source. This is the source. This is the load. This is the load. This source is the this source is the dependent source. This source is the dependent source. But load is the independent. Load is the independent. Load is the independent. Here, these things is the unknown things. These things here is the unknown things. Here is the known things. Here is the known thing. Suppose 
we are applying a load something 800 kW. Source it will give 800 kW. You connected a load in 800 kW, the source it will give the 800 kW load. Means these are the unknown things. These are the known things. These are the known things. These are the known things. In any transmission line, in, in any transmission line, the unknown, the unknown electrical quantity, the unknown electrical quantity uh, evaluated, evaluated by the known electrical quantities along with transmission line constants, means resistance, inductance, and capacitance. And with the help of transmission, with the help of network techniques, the network techniques of the KCL and KVL. KCL and KVL with the help of network techniques will evaluated we will evaluate the unknown things we will evaluate the unknown things with the help of known things on the transmission constants with the help of network techniques with the help of network techniques we evaluate now we go for the main topic in any electrical in any in any electrical equipment in, in any electrical equipment, the performance was decided by the two factors. One is the efficiency, one is the efficiency, second one is the regulation, second one is the regulation. This regulation may be classified two types. One is the speed regulation, second one is the voltage voltage regulation in this speed regulation is happening in some rotating machines rotating machines is coming in this speed regulation rotating machines is nothing but dynamic machines dynamic machines here static devices static devices will comes under the voltage regulation means the static devices such it will come on voltage regulation. If you rotating machines, speed regulation is coming. Speed regulation is coming. One by one, we are discussing. First, we go for the efficiency. First, we go for the efficiency. This is the efficiency. The efficiency is nothing but the ratio of output to input. The ratio of output power to input power. The ratio of output power to input power. The output power. What is the output power? PR. What is the input power? PS. What is the input power? PS. Here the output power input power is equal to means input power is equal to output power plus losses plus losses we will substitute this here means output power plus losses output power plus losses output power plus losses into 100 then it will come percentage of efficiency into 100 then it will come means percentage of efficiency is equal to receiving and set power receiving and set power plus losses into 100 this is the formula for the efficiency this is the formula for the efficiency in transmission line in transmission line basically the efficiency is the efficiency in transmission line the efficiency in transmission line depends on losses is depending on losses the losses in transmission line depending on resistance in transmission line the resistance value is less the resistance value is less in transmission line so that the losses also is less the losses is less means the efficiency you will get more. 
the efficiency you will get more in transmission line the efficiency is increasing if you go the transmission the transmission line efficiency is the two to uh, the transmission losses the transmission line losses is the two to five percentage losses is available in transmission line losses is the two to five percentage losses is available in distribution line in distribution line where eight to ten percentage losses is available in district in transmission area two to five percentage of losses is there the losses is less in transmission area the losses is more in distribution area eight to ten percentage of losses is available in distribution area total transmission and distribution losses is the 10 to 15 percentage in total transmission and as well as a distribution losses is the 10 to 15 percentage but in our india but in our india losses is in our india losses is the 26 percentage in our india losses is the 26 percentage in this losses in this losses will comes under the transmission losses distribution losses and some tick losses Take classes means homey classes. Take classes means homey classes. Some commercial classes. Some commercial. These are these are all the these are all the comes under these classes. The total transmission losses, distribution losses, take classes and commercial losses, all things will come under the losses. In twenty six percent is losses. Twenty six percent is of the loss factor in our India. In our India. Next, if you go for the voltage regulation. Second one is the regulation, means voltage regulation. Voltage regulation. Second one is the voltage regulation. Second one is the voltage regulation. Voltage regulation means voltage regulation means the receiving the receiving and voltage the receiving side uh, the change in receiving and voltage from no load from no load to full load and that means the receiving the receiving Change in voltage, change in voltage from no load to full load, no load to full load. While that time the sending and voltage and frequency it should maintain constant. That is nothing but voltage regulation. That is nothing but voltage regulation. That is that is nothing but voltage regulation. V or not. This is called as this is called as no load voltage at no load voltage at receiving end no load voltage at receiving side receiving side vr is equal to full load voltage at receiving side at receiving side this is called as no load voltage at receiving side this is the full load voltage at receiving side. The voltage regulation is nothing but the differences between the V or not minus V R. This is called as voltage regulation. 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 The percentage of voltage regulation is equal to the percentage of voltage regulation the percentage of voltage regulation is equal to v r not minus v r by v r not into 100 this is the formula for the this is the formula for the percentage of voltage regulation this is the formula for the percentage of voltage regulation here one more thing is you to the shunt capacitance effect in transmission line 
the receiving and no load voltage the receiving and voltage is not equal to sending and voltage means the receiving and voltage is not equal to sending and voltage so that so that the regulation is almost not equal to voltage drop the regulation is not equal to voltage regulation the regulation is not equal to voltage drop the voltage drop formula is the sending and voltage minus receiving and voltage this is the voltage drop this is the voltage drop regulation is nothing but vr not minus vr this is the regulation formula this is the regulation voltage regulation this is the voltage drop because of shunt capacitance affecting transmission line these two are not equal these two are not equal next in transmission line in transmission line the regulation is less the regulation is less at load point means better voltage will give it to load point means the regulation is less means the quality of voltage good voltage will give to the load end side means load end will good voltage will give to the load end side also. means the performance the performance satisfactory also is very good means the voltage regulation is less the the voltage regulation is less the performance satisfaction also is good finally overall the study state the performance of the transmission line will get the efficiency is increasing the percentage of voltage the percentage of regulation voltage regulation is decreasing then only you will satisfy then only you will then only the transmission and performance satisfactory performance is happening